RADAR is actually an acronym which stands for Radio Detection and Ranging. RADAR is a system that can detect objects through the use of electromagnetic waves. The radar pulses the electromagnetic waves rather than being a continuous beam. These pulses on modern radar send pulses lasting only a few millionths of a second, with pauses of hundredths of a second between each pulse. The radar waves are reflected by the object in its path and are captured again by the transmitting radar. This allows the radar to determine the range and location of the object relative to its position. How much radar is reflected by the object depends on the object's size, shape and construction. Aircraft onboard radars are used to detect other aircraft, weather and obstacles such as terrain. This information is displayed on the aircraft's displays, including the HUD, and is also used for targeting information for onboard weapons such as guns and missiles. Modern aircraft can merge all radar and other onboard sensors into a single display to give the pilot all the information available in a single location without having to look at multiple screens or displays. This reduces pilot workload and increases their combat effectiveness. Radar and Star Citizen is referred to as the Transdirectional Awareness System, or TDAS. TDAS is a multifunctional radar that displays information on surrounding signals such as ship type, distance and relative position to your ship. This is displayed on the TDAS Hologlobe or on the ISDs depending on the ship. These two displays present radar information in slightly different ways. The Hologlobe displays all the radar contacts three-dimensionally. Your ship is always displayed at the centre of the display. Lines show horizontal distance and stalks show the vertical distance of contacts relative to your ship. Unidentified contacts are shown as a white sphere. Identified outside of display range non-selected targets are identified as blue spheres. Identified non-selected targets within the display range are identified with an arrow pointing in their vertical direction either up or down. Friendly contacts are displayed in green and enemy are displayed in orange. The currently selected target is shown by way of a holographic representation of the target's ship. The ISD TDAS display is represented in a 2D segmented circular display. In older generation ships, this is the only TDAS display available. On newer generation ships, however, the ISD TDAS display is a backup and can be selected as desired. The TDAS circle is segmented into six sections representing the direction of the contact relative to your ship. The center circle is forward. The middle segment is divided into four parts representing above, below, left and right. The outermost ring represents behind you. Contacts are displayed in the segment representing their relative direction to your ship. Contacts will grow or shrink in size on the display to convey distance. Unselected contacts are displayed as circles. Friendly contacts are displayed as diamonds in green. Enemy contacts are displayed as diamonds in orange. Selected targets are identified by an outline around the respective contact diamond. Targets can be pinned to allow for constant location and status monitoring. Pinned targets are either displayed on the CVI or the ISDs depending on the spacecraft's configuration. Pinned targets are identified by a number in the order that they were pinned, first being 1, second being 2, etc., up to the maximum allowable. The number of pinned targets that the TDAS can constantly track varies depending on the TDAS equipped. In-flight missiles are also displayed on the TDAS. They will appear as a red flashing cross on the holosphere, or as an orange flashing cross on the ISD for an enemy missile, or green for friendly. The holosphere currently displays all missiles in the area and does not discriminate between hostile and friendly missiles. TDAS is your most effective means of maintaining situational awareness in any situation, combat or not. Understanding what you are seeing on the TDAS displays is an essential skill that every pilot should know and master. Good hunting pilots. For more information on how spacecraft systems work in Star Citizen, please refer to the spacecraft flight manuals found on the RSI website. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching.